Okay, so uh, first of all, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know, this topic just kind of uh, came to me, and it's about bros. Yes, bros. Now, <clears throat> if you go to Urban Dictionary, one definition of a bro is an alpha male idiot. This is the derogatory sense of the word. You know, they're they're white. They're 16 to 25 years old. You're eight. You know, 16 to 25. Inarticulate, belligerent, talks about nothing but chicks and beer, drives a jacked up truck that's plastered with stickers, has a rich dad that owns a dealership or construction business, and constantly tells the chicks at parties. Is into extreme sports. It might be fun to do, but are uncool to claim. Wakeboarding, dirt biking, lacrosse. They identify excessively with brand names. Spends a female amount of money on clothes and obsesses over his appearance to degree that is not socially acceptable for a heterosexual male. The female equivalent of the bro is the bro-ho. Bro-hos are bro groupies that hang around bros, many of whom are actually quite hot and spared the scorn that is heaped on bros. Now, yeah. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I've, I've come across a few bros in my day. Now, there's, I, I worked with a guy at my last job who, he, he was definitely a bro. But he, he was a bro in the vein of, you know, he was self-absorbed. He always went to the gym if he wasn't working, and, you know, he just, you know, he was just the typical, you know, alpha male that a lot of our female co-workers wanted to get with, but he always shrugged them off like he was too cool, like he was too cool for him, and... <laughs> But, you know, he was such a bro, and his, I remember he was on my Facebook for a little while, and I would comment on some of his stuff, and then his brother, his actual brother, would comment back and accuse me of being gay just because I commented on some of his stuff. And, you know, I'm guessing that's the type of bro that is a closet homosexual or something like that, because, you know, what are you worried about me commenting on your brother's, um, stuff on Facebook. I mean, he's my friend. We were co-workers. I can comment on his shit if I want to. But, I don't know. You know, it's just, you know, bros are obnoxious. Those, ki those type of guys that they're obnoxious and stupid and really add nothing of value to society as a whole. You know, it's funny, I, I talk shit about bros, but then there's uh, bro sitcoms like Workaholics, you know, on Comedy Central. I actually love that show. I think it's hilarious. And, you know, it it depicts a lot of um, bro stereotypes, but it doesn't really go overboard. But it, it is definitely a bro show. But then again, it's just acting. I mean, I don't really think those guys act like that, you know, off camera. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh, here, here's a here's a really good um, bro definition. Bros ruin everything they touch. They are deeply racist yet vulturize black culture with attempts to be down while living as far from any ghetto as humanly possible. It's because they seek danger or the illusion of it. A broho? What's a broho? You might be asking. A broho is also known as a blouser. Those girls with blonde hair with dark streaks in it, Ugg boot wearing, mini skirt flaunting, too much makeup, a wife beater in 30 degree weather, a trucker hat while wearing the above stated outfit, and they're passed out after two drinks. The broho is the favorite target of the bro, and when he finds his target, he is able to reproduce rapidly in much the same way as a layer of scum on the underside of a rowboat. But as important as sex is, his transport or his whip or his ride is always a bro's number one priority. 
The bromobile is central to one's sense of broness, and that mode of transport is almost always a truck. A monstrously inefficient, raised and modified American pickup that is an inverse proportion to its owner's penis. Oh, snap, motherfucker! Speaking of penises, bros have also brought the concept of homophobia to a new level. You see, they love play fighting, tackling their mates, and jokingly, joking incessantly about each other's wieners. But they will claim that there is no connection whatsoever between their overuse of the term faggot, their intense desires for close physical kinship with their pals, and their own closeted bromosexuality. Just what I was touching on, you know? Bros! A lot of whom are closet homosexuals. So, I almost feel bad for you if you're a bro. But, uh, I mean, you know, if you want to be a bro, then who am I to stop you? <laughs>